Fox 11 News. Well, it was a major undertaking today in Liberty Island. You could call it, in fact, the passing of the torch. That's a good way to put it. The original torch from the Statue of Liberty moved to a new home at a museum, and our very own James Ford was there for the big operation. He joins us now live with a look at all of it. Hi there, James. And hello to you. And look, at a breathtaking speed of one half of one mile per hour, surrounded by a platoon of SWAT and other law enforcement officers, one of the country's most precious artifacts was transported to its new home on a very specialized vehicle. Here's more. It was from today's first ferry to Liberty Island that we were brought to a most unusual site. Partially disassembled but glorious was Lady Liberty's torch and its flame that had been in her hand from her creation in 1886 until a new torch replaced it nearly a century later. The original torch was in a museum in the statue's pedestal. Only a fraction of visitors are allowed in there. 80% of the people coming out here that are viewing the, uh, the statue from the outside and never seeing the artifacts or the things that are in the small museum that are in there now. That's why they're being moved to a new museum across Liberty Island that will be open to everyone. So people can get a good sense of scale and understand how the torch that's way up in the sky actually feels so massive down on the ground. But moving it was no simple task. Very carefully lifted onto that truck. Uh, which has special hydraulics. We're not taking any chances with something as, as a treasure like this to the country. Also on the transporter, a full-size copper mock-up of Lady Liberty's face. Gives you a lot more perspective of how big the statue is. They can touch it. They can feel the narrowness of the copper. It will all be in the new museum where torch and mask arrived after their 15-minute, 600-foot journey. As you see, the torch is the emblem of the new museum, and that new museum has at its centerpiece the torch. You'll be able to visit when it opens in May. And it will be a lot warmer then, and that's another advantage of the new Liberty Island Museum. In any weather, including in today's cold, it's open. Not the case today. Tamsin Corey, we froze. <laughs> yes, I have to imagine. Oh, man. What a story, though. I know. And just, it's so cool wow. to see it so up close yeah, like that. Yeah, right? that's really neat. All right, James, thank you so much. And uh, warm up a little, little bit. Yeah.